Hey guys, Mike Money Gamer here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> this also is like the first time that I've actually done four episodes in like one setting without like being like, mm, should I continue? But no, it's okay. I think I'm going to continue with this for now. Um. <laughs> So I was going to say something really funny, like a sales pitch-like thing. So I ate the uh, calorie mate thing that I told you about, right? The joke that I made in the last episode. <clears throat> and for those of you who are wondering what flavor it was, <laughs> you know the guy who's like in that meme where he's like, I heard you like this, so we put this and this, right? Imagine this. I heard you like peanut butter, so we put... Uh, peanut butter on top of your crunchy peanut butter and made it into a bar. That's what I ate, basically. <laughs> yeah, basically the flavoring is um, peanut butter crunch. And so basically, like it says, it's basically a crunchy peanut butter thing mixture with peanut butter, like smooth peanut butter, like, you know, whatever you call it, creamy peanut butter, I think is the right word, smothered on top. <laughs> Crazy stuff, but anyway. Damn straight. <laughs> I love that. You there, why aren't you working? <laughs> I like how like upset they get. It's kinda hilarious. So I guess actually the door that was needing the frequency to open is just part of this guy's uh, persona as well. He can just like come in here whenever he pleases. There doesn't seem to be anything like useful in here though. I was hoping like there'd be like something cool in here. Apparently not. Oh, so I can't grab him when I'm wearing the uniform. <laughs> so I just like smack him and he's like, Oh, I I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to do it. Okay, so where am I supposed to go with this now? I already forgot. Okay, your Rykov disguise is complete. Now they won't stop you no matter what you do. Even if I punch someone in the face? Right. Really? Really. Why? Rykov's just that kind of guy. Once you're disguised as Rykov, you can get into the West Wing where Sokolov is being held. To get to the entrance to the West Wing, pass west through the main wing of the weapons lab and go through the connecting passageway. You can get into the main wing of the weapons lab from the southwest side of the second floor. Head for the main wing. That's right, I accidentally found it last time. And then I was like, oh but I can't go here yet. <laughs> I just love that. Even if I punch someone in the face, even if you punch someone in the face. I still don't understand why I can't equip my gun. 
when I'm in a disguise, you know? Because you carried a pistol, so it's not like it would be, <clears throat> you know, strange for him to whip out a gun and, like, shoot someone, you know? <laughs> This is just that room, right? Where was that connecting passageway? I remember uh, finding it by accident. <laughs> just do a diving roll into someone. Sir. That just seemed like a funny thing to do, it's just freaking um Go and uh, just go up to someone and try that to see what they would do. And they're just like, Sir, what's up? <laughs> Is there even mice in this area? Probably not. Sir. <laughs> I've already been in here, so I don't need anything in there. I came in here before, but then I was distracted by everything. I'm just like, don't make me smack you in the face, boy. <laughs> oh, that's funny stuff right there. I love it. Doesn't seem to be anything useful in here either. That's just where he was hiding before. That's where it was before. <sighs> That's outside, which I don't think they would stop me from going outside, but, um... Let's see, I accidentally found a door somewhere around here that led further into the facility. Where was it? That's cool looking. Oh sweet, I found more healing items. Look at that, even if I punch someone in the face? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I accidentally did that, and so I guess that's just what brought it up. That was just kind of funny, he's like, you know, I just smacked someone too. And they're like, yeah, you can do that. Sir. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, that's right. I know exactly where it is now. It just took me a second. Beyond the lockers and to the right, there was a door. <clears throat> that's correct. That was the main area. Yeah. I see you've caught yourself an Emperor Scorpion. The Emperor Scorpion is said to be the largest scorpion in the world. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin, so take care that you don't get stung. If you do get stung, go into the survival viewer and use Cure to inject yourself with serum right away. I already know that it tastes horrible, so I don't need to ask about that. You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly like you described. A miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on me. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. Anything else for me, buddy? Sigint. Yo! 
Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. So I heard. The ground effect vehicle, or WIG, is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these wigs. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The wigs' long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field tested as a transport craft. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, and its range is pretty good too. Not that speed is gonna help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Can I get in here now? Oh, I mean, I just love doing that. <laughs> Sir. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! there. You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. Hmm. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. 
The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohawk to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how'd you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. Hmm. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohad as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. <laughs> Funny stuff, if you ask me, because it sounds kind of crazy. <clears throat> so you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. Yeah, like a Bomb dick. The future. <laughs> Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volkin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. 
They're in America. Oh. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. Hmm. No, I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. <laughs> All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. fairy disguise it's gonna rub off on you and then you'll lose sight of who you really are stay out of this
I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah. That usually means something important's about to happen. <laughs> oh, crap. I know you gave the data to someone. Never do that. You! than he was. Oh, I bet your ass. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? Oh, God. <laughs> You're a tough one, my friend. A lesser man would be dead by now. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Well, then, let's get started. Okay. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? 
You're a tough one. But even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Here's where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? Your real target is the Philosopher's Legacy, isn't it? Have we even heard about that yet? <laughs> or for that, it's been so long, so... It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. <clears throat> Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznygrad. You'll never live. <laughs> What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that. But he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras.
What is it, Tanya? He's suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy to her, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. There, satisfied now. Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. So you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Run. One four four point seven, I think is what that said. I couldn't read the last rest of it. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You are quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. 144.7. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Hold on. Let's try 
point seven zero first. No response. Damn it, that's all I saw it. Door that door has been unlocked. Haha. -ha. Okay. Snake, the door to the cell is open. There's no time to lose. Get out of there quickly. Oh, so that unlocks the door. <laughs> nice. Well, we'll have to escape in the next episode. Till then, everyone. Bye.